What's going on today? I'm gonna to show you how to do one of my favorite bench variations, the floor press. I love this exercise because you're gonna work on that lockout portion of your bench press, and it's a really great builder for the tricep too, because you're on that upper portion where you're locking out those triceps. Another benefit to this exercise is you can do it with your body weight being in a dead position. So I'm fully accentuated, laid out. I don't have any scapular retraction or kind of control to use leg drive. You're just getting a straight up dead press. So the first thing that kind of throws people off is how the heck do you set up for this? So quite simply, it's gonna be just like a bench press. Don't do dumb things, obviously, like be too far under it where you'll hit the pins too far away where you can't unrack it. Um, I also find because you're in that dead position, it helps to have someone unrack it for you because it can be a little awkward. We'll show you some variations to get around that a little later, uh, but that's kind of your breakdown. If you don't know how to bench press and you don't know best bench press techniques, like bringing in the elbows, flaring, everything like that, I really recommend you watch our comprehensive bench how-to before watching this variation. You want to make sure you master the bench before you head into this. So getting right into it, you can see I'm laying down here. Here, I'm in my position, I'm fully accentuated, everything is laid out. If you want, you can bring your knees up, I don't like it as much, I like to be completely dead so I can just work on my raw pressing power. That way when I go to the bench and I have those extra helpers, like I'm actually using my lats and I'm pinned and I'm able to use that leg drive, I feel that much stronger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unrack the weight as you can see me doing here. Just a simple bonus tip when it comes to proper positioning, as you can see Josh is way too far back, he's grinding every single rep into the squat rack, which is something you don't wanna do. And then here he's way too far away from the bar and he's gonna be dropping the barbell on his forehead if you actually can unrack it but as you can tell it's very tough to unrack and it's also gonna be very tough on the shoulder so stay away from doing this now from here I'm tucking those elbows in with control now a common mistake I see is they slam their elbows and you're gonna have that weight wobble really awkwardly and it's gonna be hard to power up and you can see me here kind of powering it up really awkward and I'm kind of going wishy-washy to the side so I'm coming down with control I have those elbows nice and tucked now from here I'm gonna work on my flaring push through use those elbows and those chests with some power and now since this is kind of like a half press that's completely okay uh, it's really going to change based on how wide your grip is if you have a super wide grip like you can see me doing here you're going to get a little more chest and shoulder out of this exercise you're still going to get that tricep at the lockout but it will change how this exercise is done you can also go very narrow and do all tricep and use this as an advanced kind of uh, floor, tricep, close grip press variation. It's really kind of different. You can see me doing that here. Uh, it is a lot of fun, but main things here, you come down with control. I like to pause for one second, come on all the way up. Power, I'm locking that out with confidence coming down, powering it up with confidence, and that's really it. It's quite simple and it is very comparative to the bench press, but it is a fantastic variation you can use to build that bench. Here are three cool variations, including the two I just mentioned that you need to try out. In variation number one, we've got the dumbbell floor press. I know a lot of you may not have racks where you can put the pins at the very bottom, or you may not even have a barbell in general. So what we're gonna do is take two dumbbells, lay on the floor, place them upright, push them onto our quads, and then kick backwards. Be careful, you don't wanna hit your head on the floor. And then just same rules apply, push them all the way up, pause at the very bottom for a second, explode up, and increase that bench press. Alrighty, in variation number two, we've got the close grip floor press. It's pretty simple. You're just gonna keep your elbows nice and tight, and simply put this is gonna target the triceps more. You can do this with the barbell or you can once again take the dumbbells, drag your triceps all the way down to your side, bringing it along the rib cage, pausing at the bottom, and then exploding up. And this will once again target the triceps more and it's a fantastic movement. Number three, you're gonna do a wide grip floor press. I love this because I don't like wide grip. I actually bench fairly narrow. Um, I'm pretty tall, I'm like 6'1", um, but I keep my pinkies right inside those rings. It's where I'm most comfortable. So if you're more of a close grip bencher, you can try to switch it up, maybe on the floor press where you can go a little wider, because you can't go all the way down where it'll really stress out that shoulder. If you have shoulder problems, that might be a problem for you. So here I can still go wide, I can still get the benefits. I'm soft a little bit short from when my elbows hit the ground, but I can still kind of play around with a different pressing position, build that chest a little more. And the more you manipulate and change your pressing positions, the more it'll complement your bench. You want to try these variations such as floor press, Press, close grip press, uh, pin press, spot press, all these great exercises. Definitely try them all, implement them, they're a ton of fun. And thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. You guys are the real MVPs. We appreciate all the support. Please make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, which I know you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you're looking for a comprehensive form guide on how to improve form for every single one of the exercises in the gym, click that first link in the description. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.